Makers. At the end of this video, you will be able to change the default Django database, which is SQL Lite to my SQL database with and without the existing data easily. Without wasting time, let's go to Code Editor and start a new Django project. I will make the project set up a little bit faster in order to emphasize on the main part. If we navigate to Django admin page, we will see a login page. So we need to create a super user with username and password. The data will be stored in SQL Lite. When we create any Django project, SQL Lite is assigned as default database automatically. The database will contain two built-in tables, those are group and user tables. We can also add a new table using model.py file, which used to handle database operations. I have a slow created two additional users from admin page with their own username and password, which will be stored in SQL like datums. I will create a Django app called my app, and I will assign a table question, which consists of the question and publish date. All these data will be saved in SQL like database by default. I will be registering my app in admin.py file in order to see the table question in admin page in addition to users and group table. I will also add some data to the table in order to show you how the data will be migrated from SQL Lite to my SQL datums. Until now we have set up the project. Now let us start playing with the database. I will be using XAMPP server for creating my SQL database but you can use any other ways of your choice since the process will remain the same in all cases. I will create empty my school database called DjangoDB, which we will be using to store the Django project datas instead of SQL Lite. After we create a database on my SQL, it is time to change our database in setting.py file. Delete or comment out the SQL like database setup from setting.py file and paste the my SQL database setup from the description box or the first part of the comments section. Now set name to your my SQL database name. User is root by default if you didn't change it. Password is empty. My host is localhost and the port number is 3306 as you can see in the Zab control panel. On the terminal there is a message. To install my SQL client library, which used to handle my SQL database connection with our Django project. So we have to install this library if it do not exist before. To install the library, simply run pip install my SQL client command on CMD. After changing the setting.py file, and after installing the my SQL client library, if we try to run the server we will see a red message to run migration for the new database. Now we have changed our database setup to my SQL server. But as you remember, we have created empty database, but if we run the migration Python command, all the database table and the database format will be migrated from SQL like database to my SQL database. On the MySQL server, you can clearly see all built-in and user-created database format and tables are successfully migrated. Boom, you have successfully changed your database. But wait, even if the format and the tables are migrated, any of the data is not migrated yet. That is why I am not able to log in to admin page with my credential which I created before. But if I created a new super user, the data will be saved in my SQL database so I can easily assess admin page. Similarly, if I use to create a group or question, the data will be saved in my SQL database. So even if we change the database successfully, we will not be able to assess the data. So now we need to see how we can change the database without losing the necessary data to see this. Let us return back the datums to SQL Lite and we will see how we can migrate the data. Now we have returned back to the initial database setup. So what we are going to do is first of all, we will store the data on JSON file. Then we will change the database and finally, we will load the JSON data to the new database easily. To show all this, I will try to create some more data so as to easily identify the migrated data on the new database. When we change the database, now run the command python manage.py dump data exclude equals content types greater than data dump json to create a json file which consists of all the data except content type 
which might cause error if it is not excluded. You can also exclude any specific data using exclude keyword. After we prepare the JSON data, we can change the database to my SQL server and for easily understanding. I am going to delete all the datas in DongoDB database table. Let us run the migration command so as to migrate the database and its format. Now the database format is migrated and we have the data in JSON file, so it is time to insert the JSON data into the database to migrate the stored data on damp data in JSON file format. We need to run the command python manage.py load data data dump.json. After running this command, if you go to the database, you can see all the data which we created on SQLite is successfully migrated to my SQL database. Since we do not exclude any data, even the super user which we created on SQL Lite can be used after shifting our database to my SQL database. Generally, to migrate a data from SQL Lite to my SQL Lite, use the following CMD commands. If you think this tutorial is helpful, please like and subscribe. Also, let us know on the comment section if you face any issue or if it worked for you. Thank you.